Welcome back guys. Today I am gonna set up a new sensor that is LPS 25 HP. Now I will be interfacing the sensor and I will be explaining everything about the sensor regarding its code. So to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's have a look about the sensor and the best way is to look over the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for the respective sensor that is LPS 25 HP and let's say it's a pressure sensor as you can see MEMS of uh, range is 260 to 1260 hectopascal absolute digital output barometer as you can see uh, these are some of its features and you can also purchase the sensor from here well I will be interfacing the sensor LPS 25 HP pressure sensor with a particle photon and for that I will be interfacing it with a code that is a particle code as uh, you notice uh, I will be downloading the code from this very site as you can see as a zip file also now I can have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository is control everything community now I'm gonna make some connections regarding the hardware we need to put up this video and the working together now coming to the hardware section and the connections part first of all this here is our sensor that is pressure sensor LPS 25 HP now this is a particle photon to make a connection among the sensor and the particle photon we need this an I2C sheet and it's available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there also we can make certain connections with other I2C devices and rather make these connections a lot easier using this I2C sheet for that place the particle photon over the I2C shield gently like this and make this connection. Now we want to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and here comes a connecting cable into the picture. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and while making this connection make sure that the brown cable uh, of the this cable brown wire uh, should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we should be able to continue this rule for the I2C shield. Finally, we need to power up the particle photon and we need a main micro USB cable just like this. That's it. Now gently insert it over the power jack. Now we are done with the connections of the hardware we require. Let's have a look over the code we need to follow up to catch up and to explore. Now as we are done with the hardware connections, what we require is to have a look over the particle code so that we can interface the sensor and see the working. So first step is to log into github.com, uh, go there and here search for the control everything community that's the repository. Now here search for the repository and the sensor the name is LPS25HV as you can see and we have it and this is the particle code we are talking about now let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code we have to log into a particle photon and set up the device there and this is the link which will guide us through this whole operation regarding the setup now as you can see the connecting of the device over USB operating system uh, device using Windows so this is the way how we do you support it now second step is to download or git pull the code online ID and go to there and copy the code there now build.particle is the online id where you have to copy your code paste it now you can save it there like this now you can name it last part is uh, to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and the code output will be displayed on the dashboard now to open up the dashboard this is the link please note it down so that we can have our output to be displayed on the screen as in a serial monitor just like that now here you will get the output results so we are done with the instructions part now let's have a look over the particle and let's explore it it's a dot ino extension file now first of all in the code we have included the two libraries we need to follow this code that's application dot h along with spark wiring itc dot h we have defined the address of the sensor that is UXFC created or initialized a variable here set some variables as you can see and in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600 now comes the writing part which we want to send some instructions to the sen sensor 
and which says that we have selected control list one having address index 20 and we have sent the command to set active mode continuous update which comprises 0x90 so we are done with the commands that the sensor have this command and it will respond after getting these commands with a delay of 300 milliseconds when in the void loop function we have to select the pressure data register that is 0x28 or with 0x80 as you can see and we have to request and read 3 bytes of data from this very register we are pulling the data from this very register we are getting the values and we are converting the pressure values according to the data sheet details we are seen we have seen in the data sheet for lps 25 h now what we are going to do to output uh, print output on the dashboard as you can see pressure in hectopascal units now this is the code we will look forward to work with and let's see how it works with the sensor now comes the interesting part where we have to show the practicality of this code now for that uh, first of all copy this entire particle code open up the building we have discussed earlier in this video and here we have to create a new file and name it and then we have to save the code lps25 hb is the sensor name as we have the reference and here save the code and then verify and compile it great work now flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which confirms that code is good to go and we can have our output data to be displayed on the dashboard which is also like a serial monitor yeah we have just now the magenta flash and you can see the successful notification of the flash right down here now what we require is to open up the dashboard link so that we can see the output results and here is the results regarding the pressure as you can see on my screen it's almost constant now when I apply some pressure over the sensor you can see the change the increase in the pressure now when I remove it it will successfully get back to the normal pressure and it's decreasing now again when I apply, apply some pressure over it it will again incline and it's inclining so this is the change we are talking about and this is how the sensor works along with this code that is LPS 25 HV pressure sensor now what we require is to check for the features the benefits and the applications for this particular sensor so we have seen the hardware connections explanation of the code working of the code regarding the sensor LPS 25 HV the LPS 25 HV is a PZO raised to absolute pressure sensor which functions as a digital output barometer the device comprises a sensing element and IC interface which communicates through I2C or SPI from the sensing element to the application. These features make it very important factor for the applications like altimeter and barometer for portable devices, enhanced GPS applications, weather station equipment, wearable devices and a lot more. As you see, you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the code from the resource tab and furthermore you can download it from there also. Also, you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. So, in the end I would just like to make it clear that you guys have any kind of feeling like you are left without fully understanding any part of this video till now. You can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page here. Now, if you want some articles, blogs relevant to this video, this sensor, you can contact us on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one to yourself also. Thanks a lot for watching.